I've got my vacuum press cleared off and uh, I've got the dished form in place. This is a 28 foot radius so I'm going to use that radius to attach the fan braces for the soundboard on the guitar and um, by using the vacuum press I think I've talked about this before the, once the soundboard is in place I evacuate the chamber with this pump that's inside there and by controlling the amount of vacuum I, I regulate the amount of pressure that the fan braces are under and essentially what happens is I wind up using the weight of the atmosphere as my clamp so once I shut off the vacuum the the braces will have conformed to this dished surface in here and the soundboard will of course also have that same dish of 28. I'm going to be using seven fan braces on this soundboard. Um, the, the base side is going to be cut off a little bit due to the arm bevel but uh, you can see where the seven braces will lie. Now the, the treble braces are going to be shorter. Um, the idea is to to shorten up the soundboard, tighten up the soundboard in that area, and that helps enhance the the treble responsiveness. Um, it's pretty easy to get a good bass end out of a guitar. A classical guitar but the trebles are, are a little less forgiving so this will be the seven fan pattern then after those dry after the braces dry there will be one that goes across here and one across there those are called lower cutoff bars and then there's also going to be one up here and again what's happening here is I'm trying to shrink down the, the vibrating area on the treble side of the soundboard and that helps brighten up the, the tone of the instrument. So what I'll do very quickly now is get glue on all these braces and take it over to the vacuum press. I'm just going to put a couple little pieces of tape so they don't slide around in the vacuum. I use this bracing pattern often on center sound hole spruce top classical guitars. There are a lot of other patterns that people have used and they're all very successful. It really is more a question of, of uh, knowing what to do after the braces are glued on. Um, by that I'm talking about how to taper the braces, how tall they should be, how wide they should be, how thick the soundboard should be in different parts. So there's, there's a lot more that determines the final sound of the guitar than just the brazen pattern. There are the seven fans. can't see it on the camera but the the outside of the soundboard has a nice dome to it front to back and side to now side. I'll shape all these braces before I put on the lower cutoff bars and this upper cutoff bar it's just easier to shape them without those being in the way 
These braces are just a hair over a quarter inch tall right now. And I'm going to use a plane and shave them down. Um, ultimately, I want the treble braces to be just a little bit taller, making them a little bit stiffer than the base braces. And that helps me achieve the tonal balance that I'm looking for. Um, in addition to changing the height, I'm also going to change the profile. Right now they're rectangular, but I'm going to make them more of a triangular shape. The strength of the brace lies in its, its height, and as long as the center is whatever height I choose it to be, everything off to the sides in this little narrow thing is really just adding weight to the soundboard and not increasing the strength at all. So by, by shaving it down into a triangular shape or a pyramidal shape, I reduce the weight of the brace but don't appreciably change its strength. So once I do the initial um, shaping, then I'll start tapping and, and flexing the soundboard, trying to find the, uh, the optimal the optimal sound when I tap on it. And just like with archtop guitars, when I'm building those, it's hard for me to describe what the right sound is, but kind of know it when I hear it. It's quite stiff. But I am hearing the soundboard vibrate the way I want it to. Hair more meat off the base braces. And the trebles I'm going to leave just as they are. Okay, now the next step. As, as braces approach one another, that area gets, gets stiff. Um, so there's going to be a, a big brace across here. So these braces end right next to that large brace. They don't need to be this tall in that area because there's already a, an increase in stiffness just by having the two braces in close proximity to each other. So I can shave away the ends of the braces and Take a little weight off the soundboard and also allow it to vibrate just a little more freely. So for now that's all I need to do on this, I can glue the, the other cutoff bars on and I'll do some final graduations after that. So back to the vacuum press now for these last three.